What's up guys, Smushbeans here and welcome back to Crazy Craft and today we have a special episode planned because I've been thinking of a quest I can set for everyone. People have set me quests in the past, I think it's Joel's time to set a quest for people to do. But before we do that, we have a gift here from DJ Waffles which is a dragon backpack. Got a load of lucky blocks and we got some dragon spawn eggs, a baby dragon spawn egg and lucky blocks. I'm just gonna actually just keep this for now and not take open these. Because like I said, I've already got a plan for this episode, but this is like the final backpack I can put on my wall, which would be awesome. Let's see if there's any cool factory blocks that I can use. Okay, this could look quite dragony. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's good. Yes, I like that. I dig that. Now, what is the quest going to be about, you're asking? Well, as you can see from my Minecraft character here, I am Shrek. So I decided to do a Shrek themed quest for everybody. So the start of the quest is going to take place similar to Lizzie's, where I'm going to be outside everyone's house with a book in my hand. A mannequin of me, that is, not just me, because that would take a lot of doing. Okay, so I've got everything I need. I've got my six mannequins and I've got my book and quills. I'm going to set the first one up outside. These ants here always come back. They're like an ant spawner down here or something, because I need to get rid of it if there is. But anyway, I'm going to set the first one up outside Lizzie's house. Oh, wow, she's got a lot of stuff to do. Place the mannequin there, get one of the name tags. There we go, that's me. Okay, so I'm gonna give you guys a little rundown of what's gonna happen. Basically, I've lost Fiona and I need help getting Fiona back. And to do this, they've gotta go on a little quest to find Fiona for me and bring her back to me. Okay, so here's what I've put. I put, hello, dear crazy crafter. I need your assistance. Unfortunately, I've lost my dearest Fiona. I haven't seen her in a good few days. Would you help me find her? I would be so grateful. If you want to help me on my quest, please turn over. Ah, thank you for accepting. Uh, trust me, I will reward you if you bring her back to me. Hmm, maybe you should start by asking Donkey. I last saw him hanging out by my worship rooms. Brackets, under my house, just in case they don't know. And then we'll sign it, the Shrek quest. Okay, and then we're just going to make a load more of these. Okay, so we've got five more of these books. They're all identical. And we're going to place one outside Scott's house. There we go. There's one outside of Joey's house. One outside of Sipike's house. One outside of Felix's house. And finally, one outside of Yami's house. And that's all the first part of the quest done. So next up, we need to head down to our basement where we're going to place Donkey. Donkey. Okay, so here's our donkey skin that I've got. <laughs> it's kind of more casual donkey than a traditional donkey. Okay, so for this part of the quest, we have donkey here, and donkey's gonna send them on a little quest for of himself because donkey's only thinking of himself, like always. So donkey's gonna get you to bring him a gift for our dragon, and that gift for dragon is gonna be found in the middle of a maze on Shrek Island, where I'm gonna put coordinates so people can get there and go to Shrek Island. And here's what they say: He goes, "What up, peeps? How you doing? Oh." You hear about Fiona? Man, no one ever cares about Donkey. That's why Joel's put me down here to guard his creepy worship rooms. I guess I'll help you. I need... Oh, but I need... I need something to save me from this boredom. But only if you do something for me. See, I ain't much of a romantic type, and I need your assistance getting a gift for Dragon. Although she's very fussy and only wants one thing. A sick nasty ring from the centre of a maze on Shrek Island. So how about you bring me that ring and place it in the dispenser here and I'll tell you where Fiona is. Sound good? Good. Make your way to the maze located here. And we've got some teleport locations. So we've got this as well where people can put the books and they press the button and out comes a new book. So we're going to place all these here in his hand. And then we're going to head over to Shrek Island where the coordinates are. And we're going to have to build a maze and the coordinates are for here. So people are going to just have to walk across. We're going to have the maze out here in the middle of the ocean. So to create this maze, we're going to start off by making the main pathway there. Looks pretty simple, right? Well, let's add the rest of the maze now. Doesn't look so simple now, does it? Even I can't remember the way back. I think there might be multiple routes, but it's something like this. Look at that. That's quite complicated. Oh my god. Yeah, like that. So it's going to be very tricky. And also, now we're going to start adding the hedges. Okay, so the maze is obviously going to have hedges all around the edges, about three high, and I'm going to put some blocks at the top so people can't cheat, because that would be annoying, because this is taking forever, and if someone cheats, then you suck. So let's get building the rest of this hedges. It is taking a long time. I've, I'm not even halfway through, and I never want to see a hedge block in my life again. And we have finished! Look at that, that is a maze right there. I'm happy with that, I think that looks really cool. 
It's a nice little addition to Shrek Island. So let me see if I know where to go, because I have no idea. I'm already lost. Like this, down here, round here, all the way up here, through here, this way, and then there we go. That's the, that's the way. That's how you get there. So once you get here, we're gonna have some chests. Okay, and then we've got all our rings here, our sick, nasty ring, mate. And we're gonna place one in each chest in the center, like so. And we've also left a little sign as well saying, well done, you reached the center, take a ring. And also now we've got a fill at the top so people can't cheat. Oh, Clee Doakley, so the maze is complete. So in the middle, we've got those chests and people have to make their way through this massive maze to get there. I put glass along the top so people can't escape, so they have to legit do the maze. I guess they could break through the glass, but if they do that, you smell. Okay, don't do that. I've left a sign here saying, welcome to Trek Island, feel free to explore and enjoy the maze, don't get lost. So after this, they can teleport back home. Return this stuff to Donkey. Okay, so they'll place the ring in here, then click this button and they'll get a book saying thanks. And it says, thank you so much. Dragon's going to love me forever now. Maybe you can babysit one of the drunk dragon children sometime? Anyway, where were we? Oh yeah, Fiona. Well, I last saw her with Prince Charming. She didn't look too pleased. I overheard them talk about Far Far Away or something. I don't know exactly where, but maybe head over to Far Far Away and you'll find them there. Thanks again for the ring and good luck. And I've also put on here, if people can't remember where Far Far Away is, there's some coordinates. So let's place the rest of these in here. Okay, so people will arrive here at Far Far Away Land and it'll say, hmm, Fiona was upset. I wonder if these puddles have anything to do with that. And then they'll follow these puddles here, AKA her tears, all the way up here, round here, out of Far Far Away, what? up over here and then down here and then here we're going to build Prince Charming's castle. Prince Charming's castle is nearly complete I'm just finishing off by putting some flooring inside but people aren't actually gonna come inside Prince Charming's castle this is just for show because we're gonna have a secret that no one will know. I don't know why I rhymed that that's weird. So here is the castle I'm pretty happy with this I think it looks really cool uh, we've got like the big bit at the back with a massive glass window on it and then we've got like the roof here which is slanted we've got a nice oh i forgot to leave the put the bits of wood in this bit got two little towers at the side and we've got the entrance here i think it looks pretty good i'm pretty pleased with this thing prince charming's castle is done and you may notice the entrance has slightly changed well if you look here it says please ring the doorbell before entering so let's ring the doorbell and you fall down there. So we've created a little trap for people to fall down, making them believe that the door's opening. Nope, you fall down. So let's quickly destroy the dirt under here. Okay, so they'll press the button here, thinking it's a doorbell, but they press it and they fall down this trippy thing here and get to the bottom here where there's gonna be Prince Charming waiting. And then when you get down here, you will be entered into Prince Charming's evil cave and he'll be waiting at the end for you here with books in his hand. And they shall say, Mwahaha, I've captured Joel's dear Fiona. <laughs> if you want her back, you'll have to get past the five. What are the five, you ask? Well, there are five questions about Joel and his crazy craft adventures. You must click the button to the left and answer all questions correctly to receive Fiona and your prize. Good luck. You'll need it. <laughs> we get six copies of this. So they'll click this button here and get teleported to the roof of the castle. Okay, so the first question is, from what TV show is Joel's house modeled from? And either Rick or Morty, Gravity Falls, Adventure Time. Obviously it's Adventure Time. So we get put down here to where the second question will begin. So if someone gets it wrong, they'll be teleported to this room here where they get set back to the start and go through here to start again. And question number two is, what is the name of Joel's cat that lives in a hat? And obviously Puss in Boots is wrong, but Richard is the right answer. And that, that glitches out. Oh, there we go. We get taken to here, the top of my house. Question number three is, who is the first person Joel made a worship room for? CPK, Lizzie or Ollie? And I can tell you now, it was Lizzie teleporting us to this cloud here above Shrek Island. 
Question number four, the penultimate question. How did Joel decorate his tree for Christmas? Giant Santa hat on tree, massive snowman outside, or did nothing special? The correct answer is giant Santa hat on tree, bringing us to the final area inside Shrek's swamp, which Scott built. Final question is, what an episode number is Joel's latest crazy craft? And this episode number is going to be 49. So that is the correct answer there. And this will take you to the final place where Prince Charming will be waiting for you. Prince Charming will be holding this book saying, Alas, you have defeated the five. Well done. You bested me. I will give Joel back his beloved Fiona. Make sure you return her safely. Also claim your prize. You've earned it. So we'll place these in his hand here. And then we'll place out the chests. And here is Fiona, Joel's pet rock. And we're going to place one of these in each chest, meaning that everyone's done all that to return my pet rock to me. And then each person also gets a set of Transformer armor, which I've left in there for them, which is nice of me, if I do say so myself. So that was our little quest. I hope you enjoyed the adventure of building it with me. Make sure to go check out everyone else's channel to see how they do. The links will be in the description down below, and I'll be back another time for another video. Goodbye!